Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Imagine a future where clean mobility isn't just about electric vehicles or hydrogen trucks, but about riding a robotic machine inspired by nature itself. Kawasaki, known worldwide for its motorcycles, industrial robots, and engineering excellence, has unveiled something completely unexpected. A hydrogen-powered, four-legged rideable robot called Corleo. It looks like something out of a sci-fi film, but it's real, it's futuristic, and it's aimed at redefining how we think about hydrogen mobility. In today's video on ReneeEnergy.com, we're diving deep into the story behind Corleo, the wildest rideable robot we've seen yet. We'll explore how it works, why Kawasaki built it, the role of hydrogen fuel in powering it, and what this innovation says about the evolving landscape of clean transportation and robotic mobility. We'll also look at how this innovation could influence future hydrogen applications and how it aligns with the core message we always push here. Sustainable technology must also be adaptable, intuitive, and inspiring. Let's begin with the reveal. Kawasaki showcased Corleo at the Osaka Kansai Expo 2025, a global stage for future-facing technology and design. While most companies arrived showcasing hydrogen buses, solar-powered homes, and net-zero infrastructure, Kawasaki decided to steal the spotlight with something different. An advanced, rideable machine that moves like an animal and rides like a motorcycle. With four mechanical legs, a streamlined robotic body, and a cockpit-like seat, Corleo looks like a fusion between Boston Dynamics's spot and a futuristic ATV. So why a four-legged robot instead of wheels? Kawasaki's engineers aim to rethink mobility in terrains where wheels and treads simply don't perform well. Think rocky landscapes, forested trails, uneven rubble fields, areas where conventional electric scooters or even traditional bikes might get stuck. Corleo's legs allow it to adapt its posture, step over obstacles, and dynamically shift its balance. Each leg ends in a split hoof, rubberized and flexible, designed to mimic the adaptive gait of mountain animals. But the heart of the story lies in its energy source, hydrogen. Corleo is powered by a compact 150cc hydrogen combustion engine. This engine doesn't burn hydrogen to move pistons like a traditional motorcycle engine. Instead, it generates electricity on demand to power electric motors embedded in each leg joint. The byproduct? Water vapor. Zero carbon emissions and no reliance on grid-charged batteries. This is especially important when thinking about mobility solutions that need to be fast deployable in off-grid situations or remote environments. Now here's where it gets more futuristic. Kawasaki didn't just build a four-legged robot that moves. They built one that responds to its rider. The robot's onboard system features sensor-rich feedback loops, measuring body tilt, rider position, terrain angle, and more. Through a combination of torque sensors and intelligent controllers, Corleo adapts its gait to keep the ride balanced and fluid. The rider controls the machine through weight shifting and intuitive stirrup-like inputs, making it feel closer to riding a horse than a vehicle. To complement this responsive system, Kawasaki added a smart dashboard for essential data and even a projector to light up the path at night. Night riding becomes feasible not because of brute force headlights, but through precise light projection and onboard terrain mapping. This also suggests Kawasaki is thinking ahead, not just about power, but also about rider safety, autonomy, and environmental awareness. Corleo isn't just a toy or concept art. It reflects a convergence of three disciplines, robotic engineering, clean energy propulsion, and human-machine interface. Kawasaki's robotic division has long worked on humanoid robots for logistics and industrial applications. Their hydrogen division is also advancing fuel cell systems for rail and marine sectors. What they've done here is combine their existing strengths in a new form factor, 
designed not just for mobility, but also as a public statement about what's possible when we rethink energy, mobility, and design. What's fascinating is that Kawasaki didn't go for electric batteries, even though they could have. Battery tech is mature, and most rideable robots we've seen, including those from Boston Dynamics, run on battery electric power. Instead, they opted for hydrogen, and that choice speaks volumes. Hydrogen is lightweight compared to batteries, provides higher energy density, and can be refueled faster. That's vital in applications where time, weight, and operational flexibility matter. From a sustainability point of view, Corleo can be a conversation starter in more ways than one. It's an attention grabber for younger generations, a test bed for future field robots, and a living example of how hydrogen can be used beyond the typical vehicles we talk about. Think disaster recovery missions, search and rescue in rugged environments, or even military logistics where conventional vehicles struggle. With a small tank and a hydrogen generator on board, Corleo could operate autonomously in places with no charging grid at all. The symbolic importance of Corleo is also worth highlighting. In a world where most clean energy innovations are centered on function over form, this robot adds emotion to the mix. It brings sci-fi vision into today's engineering. It creates wonder. And in doing so, it may play a unique role in winning public interest in hydrogen as a serious clean fuel, not just for ships and planes, but for creative, diverse applications that shape how we move through the world. Right now, Kawasaki hasn't announced a public release date. This is still a concept, a vision in motion. At the Osaka Expo, Corleo was shown operating in a semi-passive mode, adjusting posture and lifting its legs rather than fully walking across complex terrain. However, Kawasaki has been clear that their goal is to commercialize some version of this tech by 2050. That may sound far off, but when you look at the pace of robotics and clean energy convergence, it could happen sooner. Let's talk implications. For green hydrogen developers, engineers, and innovators, Corleo is more than just a cool machine. It's a reminder that hydrogen's potential isn't limited to grid-scale or megawatt-scale projects. It's a mobile, scalable, decentralized fuel source that can power mobility in niche areas where batteries might not be the best fit. This opens up new project types, new product classes, and new business models. For those of us in the clean tech space, this raises important questions. Can we start designing field robots or mobile systems powered by hydrogen? Can we create fuel stations that aren't just for trucks but for drones, walkers, or even small autonomous delivery bots that rely on fuel cells instead of lithium batteries? The intersection of mobility, sustainability, and robotics is rapidly forming, and hydrogen is at the center of that convergence. Here at ReneeEnergy.com, we focus on not only what's feasible but what's next. We believe the hydrogen economy isn't a narrow highway. It's a diverse ecosystem. And Corleo is proof that when you combine innovation with clean energy vision, you can create something truly out of the box. Whether it ends up being used in real-world fieldwork or remains a conceptual marvel, it's already serving an important role, making hydrogen engaging, tangible, and exciting. If you're working in the hydrogen space, this is a perfect moment to ask how design and storytelling fit into your own projects. Can you use mobility platforms like Corleo as a case study in your pitch decks or in public education? Can you experiment with hydrogen in smaller, modular systems rather than large-scale infrastructure only? Corleo challenges us to think creatively and to break out of conventional molds. As always, if you're interested in developing or financing a hydrogen project, whether it's transport-related or in industrial applications, our green hydrogen development and financing course at ReneeEnergy.com is built for you. We cover all the essentials, feasibility, permitting, stakeholder alignment, financing strategies, and more. And yes, we include tools and templates for modeling both traditional and cutting-edge hydrogen concepts. To wrap this up, Kawasaki's Corleo is a bold, imaginative step forward in merging clean energy with robotic mobility. It may not hit the streets tomorrow, but its symbolism and innovation already speak volumes. It reminds us that the future isn't only about solving emissions, it's about doing so in ways that are inspiring, adaptable, and ready to face a changing world. Thanks for watching. If you found this story fascinating, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more deep dives into the future of energy and innovation.
And remember, sustainable tech isn't just about what we power. It's about how we move forward. Until next time, stay clean, stay creative, and stay ahead. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.